Hello everyone, this is Justin from Justin's Orchids and More. It's on Monday, May the 2nd. Uh, spring is here, and um, I've got an orchid that I want to mount today. Um, it's the... What is this? Epidendrum Porpax. Um, this is one that I got from Preston. And, um, yeah, I keep looking at it. It's just, uh, you know, I'm in here today trying to trying to repot, you know, some things and stuff, you know, before I got to go to work tomorrow. But this is one I definitely want to mount. I thought I'd just put it on camera on how I do it. Um, definitely would look better on a mount. And uh, we'll do that in a minute. But yeah, um, Maxillera tenifolia. Um, I've got three of them. And I think they're doing okay. Um, this is one that I got from Preston. And when I got it, it was in bloom. And, you know, I, it looks fine now. Um, this is one that I got from Paula. And it's, uh, it's blooming right now. I think there's about four buds on it or three blooms and two more buds. Um, it's doing good. Um, I love the fragrance. You can't get away from that coconut fragrance. This is a very popular orchid. Um, you know, so that's that one. And this is one that I got from Carter and Holmes. This is actually a first time bloomer for this one. And, um, I need to do something with this one. I've got a repot it somehow it's got it's got different buds on it um i think with these maxillaires um early spring i think that if i would have introduced them to a little bit more um better light they would have probably probably bloom better for me um i'll probably do that next year but yeah um yeah this one right here i kind of i was sitting here about to make this video and i was just looking at how it's just getting heavy on this side and um i need to kind of clean it up but um, I don't know yet how I want to repot that one yet, but we'll see. So that's that. Um, but yeah, very cool orchid to grow. Nice fragrance. Um, definitely one that I like having my collection. So let me clear the table off and I'll show you guys how I do this mount. All right, guys, I'm back. And yes, um, I want to mount this Epidendrum Porpax. I'll throw a picture up of what the blooms look like. Um, again, this is another orchid that a lot of people have. And um, you know, I love the little flowers. Uh, thank you, Preston. I can see where, you know, the growth pattern is going this in this direction right here. Okay. And um, what I would like to do, I was looking at this mount and I thought about maybe putting it right there and letting it train up, but that's not enough mount for me. I, I think I need a bigger piece of cork for this one. So this is the one I'm actually going to go with right here. And um, I like this little crevice right here see how that goes up and what I want to do is I'm going to try to mount it right there so it you know I can train it to grow up this way on that piece of cork so that's the plan so I've already got some sphagnum moss here that you know that I, I've had soaking and basically you know it's just a small plan I just really want to take a look at it take a better look at it um, you know this plant definitely looks better on a mount and what I'm gonna do is I don't really want to disrupt the plant too much but I want to kind of I want to kind of do that and then I want to kind of Something like that. There's enough, there's a little new growth coming out right there too. And I've already drilled a hole right there with my drill and I've got my fishing line here. So what I'm gonna do, and you know what? I might not even use no more sphagnum moss and this sphagnum moss isn't bad. Um, there's another new growth right there. Just trying to pull the plant, you know, train it to the uh, to the cork, like that. Trying to give it plenty of room, you know, to grow. I don't know how fast these orchids grow, but um, I think that looks good. What do you guys think? 
anyway, let me uh, let me get off here and get it tied and, and um, put my hanger on up top, and um, I'll show you what what it looks like, guys. I'll be right. Back. All right, guys. So I'm back, and uh, yeah, this is a little bit bigger mount than I would normally versus the size of the plant, but um, what I would like, I plan on, you know, I intend on this orchid to stay on this mount for a while. And I would love to kind of train it to grow in this crevice and grow up this way or, you know, branch out this way. I'm not really sure how this orchid's going to grow yet. Um, I've never grown this one. But um, I think it looks good. I've got my hanger on it. I've got my tag on it. And uh, I'll give you guys updates. I'm not really sure about the light levels. I mean, I've got to look it up. But um, I have been giving it low light when it was in bloom. And now it's done blooming. Now that I've mounted it, um, I'll probably, you know, Put it up a little bit higher and just try to introduce it to a little bit more sunlight but i think the plant looks good thank you preston um hope you guys enjoyed the video and before i go i'll show you a cool little phalaenopsis this is phalaenopsis minii um, this one came from hauserman orchids i don't detect the fragrance but um very cool little phalaenopsis so that's that guys Anyway, I hope everybody's having a good day. I'll see you on the next one.